Believe it or not, Susan has started cooking. <laughs> what are we I doing? I am quite a reasonable cook, Catherine. I'd feed say you, you are. Things. But I'm not cooking for humans here, I'm cooking for beasties. Right, well there's a right so, smell of something out of that. Garlic? Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's early in the right. morning. This is a potion to keep the beasties off your plants. Um, it says it's supposed to keep white butterflies off your cabbages and things. And I hope green fly off your roses. So it's really now, this is going to be a whole, what is it? An it's or an organic um, way of doing it. Do yes, sort of okay. infected way of doing it. It's three cloves of garlic crushed up and marinated overnight in a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Right. And now we're going to strain it. So you okay. put the sieve there. Um, I've never done cooking programs before, so we'll see what... <laughs> Well, you're doing well so far, Susan. So we'll strain it, get all the oil out of it there. Right. Through the sieve, because we don't want all the garlic, because it's going to block up the sprayer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I okay, I could so use this in cooking now, but maybe not. Mm. Right, make sure there's none on the spoon, because having strained it... Right, okay, so that's think, there. That's right. there, there's our oil with... Oops, I think we've got a bit of garlic in there, never mind. I think actually that's a bit of oil, is it? Down oh, there? maybe it's just bubbles. Mm. In the I oil. think it is, yeah. Now, the no. next thing we need, we add a teaspoon of liquid soap or washing up liquid. Now, you're doing again I'm what using sort an of organic soap? Yeah, because um, you're very into here. organic, so. Well, we don't want to put anything yeah. nasty on it because you'll be. It ah. eventually gets through the whole ecosystem. Yeah. So you're keeping and it as natural as you what can. What we do is we add a. Um, now you need water. Yeah, you want you me stir to stir that for me while I get Certainly. the water? Certainly. Absolutely. I'll stir away. And we have our oil, our garlic, and we have our um, organic washing up liquid. Okay, and here she is with the, kettle. Is with the kettle. Now, I presume now, you don't pour this heated onto the plants, do no, you? No, no, no. It's not. This isn't hot water. It's oh, just right. cold. It's just a handy way of carrying it. Okay. You dilute it in a litre of water. Yeah. Is. Now this is a great tip because you know what, first there. of all it's very affordable. Yeah. Because I tell you one thing, when you go out, like things can be expensive to use. If well, you're if spraying works, a whole thing on I mean, roses or something. To, but if you want to eat something and you want to keep the beasts off it, you don't want to be putting something nasty and toxic on. So we put it in our little sprayer. Now Can this is a that sprayer one? that you you could recycle anything you buy. In the, oh yes, in you the, could use just anything. You know, one of those sprays Cleaning or some sprays sort of, or yeah. Clean it out and then fill it with this. I think this came free with a sprayer I bought for something. This is just a little, right. a little hand sprayer. Now in goes that your good. top. In goes my top. I'll leave you that. Yeah, perfect. This is very and exciting because do you know what? I am dying to get something. Put a bit. There we go. And there we go. And you spray your. And you spray. Well, I, I have some. Now. I have some salad greens here. And you just now, why would you be spraying those salad greens? Well, they're greens? fine, but this is just a demonstration. There's nothing. I mean, I could be getting green fly or white fly or something. So, on those. so this really will sort the green fly problem out. We hope. We hope. But so we can try it. What we'll do is we bring it. We'll try it on your roses and see Definitely. if you've got green fly. Because uh, my roses are yeah. looking a little bit. We'll film that later. My roses are looking a little bit like I haven't been out spraying them enough. <laughs> Um, so just tell me something. Um, yeah, very affordable. Yep. Um, very clean for the mm -hmm. environment. Um, and um, isn't it just great to be able well, to? Well, it's great because you know how white butterflies and they lay their eggs on your cabbages yeah. and things. And yeah. You get these awful caterpillars. If this works to keep them off, right? Because netting, they just fold their wings and fly straight through. Okay. So, so great. We'll and what, what about happens. for fruit and all that? Could we use it on? Yeah, fruit we can, you can use it on anything because it's totally non-toxic. Right. So it's really to attack the beasties in the garden. It's really to, yeah, to deter them. And they've done a lot of ex of research somewhere too on the deterrent effect of garlic for slugs and snails. Right. Now we can see how effective that is. Let's do that. Okay, okay. great. Well done, Susan. It's well, Susan's recipe. <laughs> well, I did <laughs> find it somewhere on a, on a site, so we'll see how it works. Okay. Okay? Yeah.